Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the live show. Hope everybody is doing well. It is a very chilly Thursday night here. Colder than usual for April. We had some rain mixed with some snow earlier. No snow on the ground, thank goodness, but it is very chilly. Got my coffee ready here. We got Frank. Everybody say hi to Frank. Got everything going here. Everything good. Got the the comments where I can read on my tablet here. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sarah. Uh, Tori Castle. Hey, buddy. Freeze-dried ice cream from North Idaho. Hello. Castle Circle. How you been, bud? Hello, Eileen. LM, Sarah. There's Jess. Uh, Kai, Katie, Caitlin, Mick, Smoking Swamp, hello. Hello, Sandra. Yarn Prepper, hello. Hey, Tracy. Anne Marie, hello to you. River Rat, Saurice, Aye. James, hello. Hey, Kathy, Patsy, Patricia, Brian. Everybody's on here tonight. Disney lover, hello to you. Hello, Kathy from Southern Indiana. Janine, Carol, Cindy, Kathy, Deborah. Hey, guys. Hope everybody's having a good week. Thought I'd come in and just hang out for a little while. Not going to be on live too long tonight, but just wanted to hang out with you guys. I enjoyed it so much last Friday. Uh, it, it was good to go live. You may be doing some, thinking about doing some live shows and some different events, maybe around Cincinnati. Not sure what we're going to do yet, but uh, we have some events coming up. Uh, we got the Zoo Blooms, right? The Botanical Garden at the Cincinnati Zoo. I hope to get there. It just so happens the day that it opens, uh, it gets down to 30 degrees. So hopefully the 100,000 tulips that they have planted won't be affected by that. I don't know. I don't know. It never usually does. Usually we'll have a cold spell here in Cincinnati right about this time. I don't know about this cold, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. We also have the opening of Kings Island here in about a month. So we hope to, uh, we, well, we are going to be there for the grand opening. You guys know that. Uh, and also I do believe, I'm not sure if the name change has happened yet, but Kings Island and I guess six flags have merged. So I don't know what that's going to bring to Kings Island. It's kind of all new to everybody. So we'll see what happens. Uh, yes, there are the tulips. Uh, the entire It's not just a tulip. There's like millions of flowers. Millions. Uh, I wanted to get there for opening day, but it was so cold and rainy. I was like, this is going to look terrible. And I don't want my first video of the year for the, for the flower, uh, flower festival for it to be, you know, to look bad. Christy from South Point, Ohio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Lori. I hope you're feeling better, Lori. I saw your comment the other day. You said you weren't feeling too good. Uh, good there. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. <laughs> uh, yeah, there were, you know, there's been some pretty decent deals at Kroger lately. I mean... If you do the digital coupons and you work with some of the different deals, the buy three, save $2 each deal really has a lot more better deals than I've ever seen it have before. LM, thank you very much. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. That'll, that'll go right into the gas tank. Gas prices are going up. Boy, I'll tell you, it's crazy. Also, eggs. Eggs have come down a little bit, but I think we're going to only see them go back up. Because of this whole bird cough, sneeze, bird flu thing going around here again. Looks like it's hitting Texas, Ohio. When it rains, it pours. It just seems like it's just getting worse. You know, and, and I've talked to some friends of mine who, and I, you know, normally I don't talk about any of this stuff in videos. But uh, I've talked to some friends that, you know, when you raise chickens, you have a vet come out, right? You have a vet and they check your chickens and then if they have it, well, they get rid of the ones that have it and then leave the other ones. 
Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but why are, is, is, is so many of these? I mean, I don't know if they're like the tight cage chickens, right? Where they're, they're caged and, and they don't have much room and maybe it's affecting all of these. I would assume most of it is, but I'll tell you what, it's crazy guys. Uh, yes, Jess does have a lingering cough, but is feeling better. You know, one thing we have, we have felt really tired. And I don't know if it's because what our bodies went through last week. Because, I mean, it was pretty powerful. We felt really good there. And then, like, the last couple days, we I, I've been napping like crazy. Uh, I was going to put a video out here tonight, a coffee rant. I figured, well, we'll do a live coffee rant. There was one food recall that I wanted to talk about for just a minute. Because I know a lot of our viewers on the channel have a nut allergy, a tree nut or peanut allergy. Well, apparently, Abdallah Candies out of Apple Valley, Minnesota, just recalled a bunch of candy boxes that have that are supposed to be chocolate cherries, but they're labeled those sea salt alligators. Right. Well, the sea salt alligators have almond in them. They have like almond mixture in them. And, and it's a huge recall. They're trying to pull all of these. Uh, not sure how many stores they went to or any of that stuff. I know that the, there was a code on it. I think it was 0315 on the bottom of the, you know, it's like the big candy box of dollar candies. I'm sure some of you have heard of them. Um, there's been a lot of mislabeling lately, though. You know, it's like we have to pay attention to these things because, as most of you know, I'm allergic to coconut. And, you know, great value. Walmart had to pull all of those different honey roasted cashews down because those were mislabeled for having honey roasted coconut cashews in them. So it's like, you know, these things, it just seems like when one happens, another happens, another, we really got to pay attention these days. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Uh, Dimbula, good day from the Outback. Good day to you. Oh, you have Castle. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't think I've ever tried those candies. Um, I saw what the box looked like, though. I've seen the box before, but yeah, I've never tried them. You know which one I want to do? I want to go to, me and Jess want to go to Hershey, Pennsylvania, and do the Hershey chocolate tour at Hershey, Pennsylvania. I, I would just, I would dive right in to the Reese Cup bin. <clears throat> we also want to go to Hershey Park, which is an amusement park. I've always wanted to go there. We've just never really had the time. We're usually going south instead of north. <laughs> I am drinking Duncan, Duncan coffee. Needed a nice, smooth blend for tonight. Hello, America from Central Florida. But it's nice and warm there. Uh, thank you, Kathy, praying for Jessica. Yeah, but the last couple of days, we've just felt really tired. Uh, Lori says, your dad always put antibiotics. Has a tulip festival? Or wait a minute, wait a minute. Antibiotics in the feed to keep the chickens safe. Uh, but that was years ago, had a problem raising chickens. Never had a problem raising chickens. I know, it, it, it doesn't seem like it's ever been as big of an issue as it is now. Two, two, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Almost got enough for half a tank of gas. <laughs> uh, Two fifty nine. 259 a gallon here. It's, it's ridiculous. And we're, you know, these are things. And we just heard that gas has gone up again just west of here in Indiana to 369. Uh, now, if you're from the Cincinnati area, if you're somewhat local around here near the tri state, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, you've probably heard of United Dairy Farmers. United Dairy Farmers was given out, they, they knocked 40 cents off a gallon today. I don't know what it was. My aunt called me out of nowhere and said, hey, if you need gas, go fill up. UDF everywhere's uh, doing a 40 cent off a gallon. I had just filled up at Kroger last night. The funny thing is, is that I had 40 cents off from all the groceries and stuff that I've accumulated, accumulated in fuel points. So I did get that, but boy, if I'd have known that was coming out today, I'd have waited. 
Uh, yes, Carol. Yes, we definitely want to check that out. Thanks again, too, for the super chat. Let's see. Trash or treasure? I caught the flu. I got better uh, than my husband got it worse than me. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I, I feel like for one day, maybe two, I felt pretty bad. Just had it pretty good for like three days. Um, and although we're better, I do, I feel like, I just feel so slow. I don't now, I took a very long nap today. I slept, I never sleep in the middle. Well, I'll take a nap every now and then, but, um, for me to conk out for about two and a half hours in the middle of the day, that's rare. That's rare. I did wake up pretty refreshed. That's why we're doing the live show tonight. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, she's just got a little bit of a cough. Excuse me. Yeah, get that. Get the natural vitamin D. Go out there, sit in the sun for a little while. There hasn't been any sun here. It's been nothing but overcast. Uh, Amber says she paid three eighty nine a gallon in Boise, Idaho. Oof. And that's coming this way. Hello, Barry Barry. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's how I knew it was the flu, because I was sleeping more than I ever have. And, and Jessica always has to tell me, like, you need rest, you need to go lay down, you gotta do this. And it's like, I, I kind of feel like today and yesterday has been me catching up on years of abuse on myself for not sleeping. <laughs> uh, I do videos every day. I'm a workaholic. Um, and sometimes you just have to listen to your body and take a nap. Uh, Sarah says it's windy as all get out in Kansas city. Yeah, it was, uh, it was crazy windy here the other day. Of course, what you're getting now, we'll probably get tomorrow. I think tomorrow it's supposed to be, uh, I think it's supposed to be a little more. I think it's supposed to get up to like 49 or something. Uh, Barry Barry says, can I have your cap? <laughs> I got this. Where did I get this, Jess? Was this at Three Bears? Did I get this at Three Bears? I think. I, I didn't get it at the Peddler. Somebody thought I got it at the Patriot Peddler in Pigeon Forge. I think I got it at Three Bears uh, Country Store or General Store in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. If you've never been to Three Bears... Uh, general store, you gotta go. I mean, when you go, if you go into the Smoky Mountains, take a quick stop off at Three Bears General Store. That is one of the coolest stores ever. And then when you're done shopping or getting ice cream or getting like carnival type snacks, I mean, this place has it all. You can go upstairs and feed the bears. You can feed bears. I mean, you drop the food through a tube, you know, you don't just let them eat it out of your hand. But uh, yeah, it was Three Bears. Uh, but it, it, it's an awesome awesome store i mean they have all kinds of you guys know i love my patriotic wear here you know captain america well i got this at uh i got this at universal studios <laughs> florida but uh you know it's great it's great uh they're very very friendly that's what i love about tennessee you go down there pigeon forge gatlinburg everywhere down there yeah every now and then you'll run into some cranky person but you know what that's everywhere but for the most part most people are some of the friendliest you'll ever meet. Uh, Sandra says, did I hear about the recalls on... Yes, I was just talking about that. The Abdallah alligator chocolates. And, and the reason for that is because they have cherries on the label, like chocolate cherries, and it's the sea salt alligators that are actually in the box. Uh, and yeah, I was going to go into that a little bit about the cookies... Uh, Lindell, uh, yeah, there's some cookie, the macarons, they're the macarons from, uh, Lindell and, and always check out the FDA website or some of these websites. We read a lot from Newsweek. We read a lot from food safety, New food safety news really is probably my favorite. Now, what I usually do is I, when I do any kind of research, cause I know I always talk about research in the videos and everything. I always research local websites first. I always research like the different news stations because you're going to get more of the uh, 
more of the real news, like where this is going. You know, you, you always get a bunch of information on like the FDA or uh, like the company's website or something. You always get information that's very vague, right? Like, okay, so what stores do they sell these at? Like, if you want to find that information out, usually that's local stations. Like, local stations in Minnesota will be talking about what stores these Abdallah candies have gone to as to where you don't really know. They just say specialty stores or select stores. You know, okay, that's irrelevant to me. Uh, let's see. Sarah Lee says, love Hobby Lobby stuff. Yeah, that is pretty much this entire room. <laughs> <laughs> we love Hobby Lobby too. Uh, and yes, guys, I do have to kind of keep up in real time with the comments. So I apologize if I can't get to everybody. So if I miss something, especially if it's important, make sure you you put it back down here. But I can't keep going back and forth and we'll just, we'll be here all night. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, you're welcome, Sandra. You're welcome. Uh, Lori says, my Dollar Tree is going up to $1.75. No longer worth it with the shrinkflated packaging. Ah, <sighs> boy, I'll tell you, I, you know, I've heard a couple other uh, rumors that a lot of products were going to be going up to $1.50. Let's, let's, uh, we're, 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 I'm going to do a video. I, I don't think it's changed around here yet, but when it does, I don't know if it's going to go up to $1.75 an item. I really don't think people are going to shop around here at Dollar Tree if that's the case. Right, especially when you got people like me out here that are preaching, like, look, with dollar seventy-five, walk across the street to Kroger, and you will get more, and you'll get more of your money's worth. Right? And I understand people who go day to day. I get it. I get it. But at at some point, you know, people are going to have to start realizing that, look, you're you're paying too much. Right? And, and it ain't going to take long. It ain't going to take long either because. People who are on a tight budget know better than anybody of, of how they have to spend their money. So it's not going to take long for them to realize that. That's why I don't, I don't think Dollar Tree is going to go up that high around here. They'll have that cap limit of $7 on a lot of different items, mostly because a lot of family dollars are closing around here. So I don't know. I don't know. A couple people I know who work for Family Dollar uh, have told me of a couple different ones that are closing soon. Uh, very soon, actually, this month. And not sure if some of the other ones are closing around here. So hopefully they're able to get another job through Family Dollar. I know one person who's actually a good friend of mine uh, who is uh, got a different job altogether. Which, you know, and I, I won't say where or what, but uh, good for her. Uh, Retretta, thank you very much. Yes, feeling a lot better. I still, now I'm going to have allergies. I've been having have my eyes watering, nose, everything. Like we got a tree out here that is just shooting pollen everywhere. I mean, it has got, it's flowering and it's, it's been raining. So I, I read a little thing where it says pollen is supposed to be down a little bit tomorrow. So hopefully I can really tell too when it is down, but it, it's going to take me another good month before I'm, I'm clear again, but I am in full allergy medicine mode. And it helps, but it doesn't, you know, it's, it's not, it's not great. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Diane says Walmart sugar went down to 224 from 224 to 214, but heads of lettuce went up to a dollar 94 and they looked awful. Um, I don't know what sugar are you, is that a one pound, two pounds? Four pounds is three twenty-four at our Walmart, unless you meant to say three twenty-four, and ours is still three twenty-four, and, and the ten-pound bags went up to eight seventeen, which that's crazy. That could explain, and you know, we know that the Domino Sugar Plant is right in where Baltimore, uh, the uh, right in the port there where the bridge collapsed. So we may be seeing issues with Domino Sugar. But I really, I have, I have been seeing it everywhere else except for Walmart. But I believe the reason why Walmart is, is missing Domino Sugar is because they keep raising their prices. They eight seventeen for a ten pound bag. I mean, I buy Domino Sugar anyway. I, you know, that's what we get. You know, I like pure cane sugar, 
And that's what Domino is. Uh, any name brand, most name brands you buy are going to be like beet sugar, which is not, I mean, neither one is really good for you, but pure cane sugar is better for you than beet sugar. I just point out the, uh, the cheaper sugars, you know, because that's, that's how we can kind of gauge, you know, usually Domino and stuff will stay the same price for a long time, long time. Sometimes you'll find it on sale, uh, but you know. Okay, Diane. PN112. Hello. Hi, Dano. Have you guys... Uh, did you guys have any weather issues on Tuesday? Not here. Not here. Um, but the winds got really crazy. There were no tornadoes, but we were under, under a tornado watch for like 14 hours or something. So, you know, we were paying attention. Cheap Laugh Kennedy. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, good to be live. Thank you, Janine. Thank you. Yeah, I saw this when we went to Universal Studios. I was like, that is perfect. That is me. Captain America has always been my favorite as far as Marvel. Now, I'm a DC guy. I like Superman, Batman, those. Those were the comics I grew up reading. Another reason why I love Ollie's. If you go to Ollie's, you can get these comic books and like graphic novels, novels for dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. You go to a comic book store, you're gonna pay two to three times as much. You know, I don't. I don't usually. You guys get privileged information here on the live shows. <laughs> uh, yes, Sarah, it has been crazy weather for sure. I know north of us, uh, there were some tornado warnings that had touched down. It's been a lot of damage that has gone all throughout, all throughout the country. And you know, our thoughts and prayers are with everybody involved. Hello, Seski. Uh, tornado watches in Pennsylvania and West Virginia also the other day. Yep. Uh, PN112 is in Kentucky, and there was a tornado touchdown a couple miles away. Glad you guys were okay. We also had another longtime viewer that uh, had mentioned um, she lives in Kentucky, and they were watching to make sure one didn't hit in their backyard, so it must have been pretty close. Thank you, Barry. Uh, let's see. Yarn Prepper says, love your channel. Curious, do you or Jessica work outside the home or does YouTube sustain you? Love your shopping videos. Uh, Jessica, uh, has a job. I do this for a living. I quit. This is all I do. <laughs> Strive Research says, greetings, Dano and Jess. Hope you are well. Well, thank you, Strive. Thank you. Good good to see you. It's been a while. Actually, I saw you last week on the live show. So if I didn't get to you guys last week, we had a lot of stuff we were talking about. So I apologize. You know, trying to do some live shows here and there to kind of keep in touch with everybody. Uh, and I love doing them. I love hanging out with you guys on a, on a personal basis here. I think it's fun. It's exciting. Uh, like I said, I'd like to do some live shows like outside of home here you know maybe do some live shows and some different events or you know maybe just walk around downtown cincinnati you know or something maybe go walk down around the banks maybe do a live show maybe at the red stadium or Bengals stadium or somewhere down in there i want to do a live show at the opening of king's island the only issue that i have with that is that if we're walking around king's island plays like copyright music like everywhere everywhere it's like you'll have acdc on one side and then you move over you got aerosmith you got all great music great music i love it but you know it's hard to do any kind of videos or anything like that happy to see you says yes i've never seen cincinnati it's a beautiful city absolutely beautiful um so much to do here uh and that's some of what we're going to talk about here in a few minutes i do well we'll talk about it now I am planning on doing different things around the city here. We're going to do some other videos, some exciting, checking out the city, checking out different things. I've been been trying to get in touch with certain places and stuff to see, you know, what I can do, what I can't do, um, and stuff like that. There's a lot of cool things in this city to see. Um, like I said, need to get back to the zoo. We got Kings Island. We got different other places to shop around and look at some different things uh but check out some of the sites 
and, and, and Northern Kentucky as well. I do plan on going. We got the 25th anniversary of the Newport Aquarium. They say it's the number one aquarium in the country. I think the one in Tennessee is better. Uh, the um, the Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg. I think that one's a little better. Newport is great. And it may be different now that they have a new exhibit. They have like a bunch of octopus, a bunch of octopus uh, floating around. They have like a, a uh, special... Uh, a new area, new exhibit where they have a lot of different creatures that usually are around volcanoes that usually uh, hang out near volcanoes deep, deep in the ocean. I really want to check that out. That sounds really cool. Um, and I wonder how they're able to make, they must have to keep the waters like really warm or maybe the different, um, what is that chemical in a uh, lava uh, sulfide or uh, sulfur? You know, so maybe they have that in the specific water, but it's really interesting. They also have the Pompeii exhibit going on at the Cincinnati Museum Center. Now, whether I do a video there or not, I really want to see that. That sounds really awesome. The uh, Pompeii with the uh, Mount Vesuvius, if you're familiar with history there. Jason Voorhees. Thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Oh, first super chat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Love the name. Uh, Castle says, hog update time. Uh, Lori says, love the Newport Aquarium. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I just, number one, and, and really, I, I'm. It, it might be now. It might be now. We're going to have to check it out. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take this bad boy with me. This is uh this is what you do. This is an awesome low light camera. I know some of you on the channel here are actual YouTubers. It's a great camera right here. The Sony ZV1. The only thing I will say about it is uh you have to have like surgeon hands. You gotta like not breathe. <laughs> no, Jessica got me a uh I got like a little uh, tripod thing that actually is a piece to this let me see here and this thing's pretty cool because i can uh i can hold this on here like that that screws on but it works as a tripod so whenever you see us doing like food reviews or something this thing is perfect because it's like eye level with the table it's like the perfect size and it has bluetooth where i can literally just use my thumb and hit the record button i can zoom in and out with this making it very easy and you you really need this thing for this camera because uh it helps keep it steady because uh it, it is you know if you have shaky hands and, and it took me a while i feel like if you've done youtube for a certain amount of years you you can you really learn how to hold the camera somebody said the other day in a comment like how do you hold your camera so steady looking at all these prices well years of practice you don't see me doing this you know <laughs> it is kind of funny Oh, Dayton Air Show. Yeah, boy, that would be fun to do again. Anybody ever see the Blue Angel? Was well, that are the Blue Angel still in that? I used to love that. Aloha, Debbie. Debbie. Uh, Lori says I would love to see the Pompeii exhibit. I'll, you know what? I I'll ask him. I'll see if I can if I can film in there. They usually will let you. Um, and I filmed other things at the museum before. I did the Maya exhibit. Uh, it's It's been a long time. It's back when I first started doing videos. Uh, but the Maya exhibit was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. You could probably just type in YouTube Adventures with Dano, uh, M-A-Y-A, Maya exhibit, and it'll probably come up. It was actually a two-part uh, video because there was so much stuff. Uh, but just keep in mind, this was a few years ago, so I wasn't... Uh, wasn't as good at it as I'm still, I'm still learning, learning every day, but it was fun. Blue Angels, yes, yes, that was fun. Love those guys. Uh, Jen says, I've seen wild turkeys fly, not sure about domesticated ones. Oh, talking to Castle there. Uh, Lori says the blue angels flew over my house during a Notre Dame football game. Once it was super cool to see that is, that's awesome. 
One nice thing too, like anytime like the Reds or the Bengals, anytime they have a flyover, we can see them fly right over. Usually as they leave, like as they like they'll come up from the south, they'll fly over and we'll see them take off. That's pretty cool. I, we saw, a, I think it was a C-130 one time. I was like, whoa, that'd be a big plane. That's cool, Kennedy. Yeah, I'd like to see it again. And also, Wright Patterson Air Force Base. Actually, my cousin, uh, he used to be a photographer at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. I need to get together with him and see if he'd want to go up there. Maybe they'll let him do like a photo. Maybe I can get some some access. Yeah, I, I don't know how much I'd be able to film there, but uh, if it's an air show or the museum, Wright Patterson Air Force Base Museum, which is really cool, you know, maybe be able to film some of that stuff. I don't know. Been wanting to do some more exciting things. As much as I love covering all the food and everything and prices and stuff like that, which I will continue to do, right? Because we, we have to know these things. I really want to do some exciting things as well. Not saying that I don't get excited doing what I do, but it would be fun to deliver some fun entertainment. You know, that's why it was, you know, it was fun being down in Florida and doing all these videos with Jess. Jess loves doing these kind of videos and, you know, just filming kind of our experiences throughout the day, you know, enjoying things, having fun, you know, because we need entertainment. Uh, Frankie says, will you ever do a meet and greet? Uh, maybe, maybe I, you know, I really, over the last few years, I, I know a couple of years ago I was, uh. I was all about it. I, I've just been so busy, so busy, you know, doing so much. It's, it's hard to do that. Um, we will be at Kings Island, uh, for the, for, for the opening day, probably pretty early. So if any of you guys go to Kings Island, uh, we're not allowed like congregating in an area like that though. I can't say, Oh, everybody meet me here at the beast, you know, or the Eiffel tower. We're not allowed to do that. But if I happen to see you, we're usually up around the front somewhere testing new snacks and stuff like that for the year. So if you happen to show up at Kings Island, uh, we, we will probably be there. Hello, Sean. Good evening from Northern Illinois. Been a while. How you been? Uh, Frank or Lori says talking to Sherry. Hello, Cynthia. Dano, did you hear about the 1.6 million egg-laying chickens that were called in Texas? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, we were talking about that a little bit before. Oh, it's I don't know. I don't know. It's um, we'll see what we'll see what happens. I, you know, I, you think they tested 1.6 million chickens or different batches or any of that? I don't. I I don't know. I don't know. It's something something strange with. These millions and millions of chickens. And now they're uh, back in Ohio too, right? Remember there was just 1.3 million called a few months ago. And now they're saying more issues in Ohio. Not just taking care of the batches. They're taking care of the whole community. And I, I, don't, I don't like that. I really don't agree. I'd love to see some of those paper, that paperwork. Let me do the math on that. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Part of, oh, uh, let's see. Castle Circle says, Dano, if you get into Wright, Wright Patterson and don't film the aliens, I'll be disappointed. Oh, no, that's the first thing I'm going for. Shh. They're probably watching. As soon as I said Wright Patterson Air Force Base, they're probably watching this video. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'll get an exclusive with uh, the Alien Nation. Anybody remember that show? My dad loved that show. Uh, Lori says, I spent my youth going to Roy Patterson Air Force Base and Museum. Uh, Kathy says, I have seen the Blue Angels and Thunderbird Air Show, and I love them both. That's cool. Yeah, I'd like to see the Thunderbird Air Show. <laughs> uh, Kathy says, how about doing a new food pro product once a week and trying it with Frank. You know what's funny? I, I I don't eat... Anytime I eat 
anything like maybe sometimes for breakfast like if we're out somewhere i'll get a coffee but i usually don't drink coffee when i eat i don't know it just doesn't go well i'll just drink water but afterwards <laughs> oh let's see can't or uh victoria hey is this victoria nitel uh victoria says hi dano from victoria and robert yes it is okay from Iowa, uh, so glad we seen you are having a live show. Well, thank you. Thanks for joining. Uh, hey, Dimensions, how are you? Miss Perfect says, not notified about live chat. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. I, I, tell, I, I always say hit the bell notification, but I'm sure that most of you, if not all of you, have hit the bell notification on our channel. I have hit bell notifications on YouTube channels that I watch and stuff sometimes still doesn't pop up. I don't know if that has to do with like, so I wonder if it like, say you're watching YouTube at the time, like you're watching a video, maybe it doesn't pop up because you're on YouTube already. Like I've noticed that I've noticed that, but if I have like my phone sat down somewhere, I'll hear the little ding and then I'll see that it's come up. On somebody, I, I don't know. I don't know. No rhyme or reason anymore. Uh, yarn prepper, do we have quick trips? No, we don't. Uh, is that the one down in Texas, or is that? Are you talking about the one up north? Because one's a gas station, I think, in Texas, and then the one up north is like a like grocery store. You talking about the grocery store? <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, Castle, that's funny. Drop a super chat if you're watching. Yeah, for real. Uh, let's see. Barry says, send all the bad chicken my way. Ain't nothing, nothing some heat can't cure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I don't know. Uh, like ever says, I have coffee to last me till the end of the year. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Maybe not the end of the year, but pretty darn close. Uh, Victoria says, yes, Dano, and you even said our name right. No one ever does. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, well, yeah, I mean, I've known you. You've been on the channel a long time, Victoria. Uh, let's see. And let's all remember that I have a pretty decent memory. <laughs> now, you know, it would be, it would be nice sometime. And I know I've talked about this on live shows years past. It would be nice to do like a get together, some kind of event, you know, maybe at a, at a park or a picnic area or something like that. You know, maybe, um, it would, it would have to be like a central location to it. We have a lot of viewers from Indiana, Kentucky, and uh, Ohio. So maybe sometime throw something together somewhere uh, and maybe have like a meet and greet or something. That would, that would be pretty awesome. Well, I'll have to see on that. We'll have to figure out, uh, you know, like a good date. Obviously, it would have to be like during the summertime where it's nice and warm. We could grill out a bunch of hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff like that. And... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe plan something like that for the future. LM says, I heard groceries in Hawaii. Is that Hawaii? Are outrageous. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. I mean, a gallon of milk's like twelve dollars. I mean, you know, they gotta they gotta ship it out there for most things. Uh, good evening, Eileen. How are you? Hey, Midway Farms. Good to see you live. I'm glad you guys are feeling better. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, glad to be better. Uh, Rita, hello, Rita. I've never been notified for anything. I must be doing something wrong. Uh, no, I, I, I don't. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Uh, I will say this. Usually for a Kroger video. I get anywhere between 10 and 15,000 views in the first eight hours. I think I just cracked 6,000 views. So whatever it is, YouTube has not pushed my video out 
uh, to a lot of people who usually watch these videos. So I don't know. Meyer has been falling off a cliff lately. Um, but I, I still do Meyer because of our, our thousands of viewers that still that shop in Meyer. I mean, I mean, from a financial standpoint, it doesn't make any sense for me to do Meyer anymore. It really doesn't. But I don't care. It's not about the money. And I, I'll continue to do Meyer as long as I can. Uh, but Meyer really does, you know, and it, rightfully so too, because Meyer is only in a few states, right? It's it's Michigan. I think there's a few in Pennsylvania, uh, maybe a couple in Illinois, Indiana, a few in northern Kentucky, and all throughout Ohio. Michigan being probably the main area for Meyer. Um, Meyer is from Michigan and not Fred Meyer, not Fred Meyer, Meyer, uh, M-E-I-J-E-R. And for those of you who don't have Meyer, I wish you did because Meyer is pretty awesome. I know I only cover the groceries and everything at Meyer, but they've got great quality products uh, that it, they're like Walmart, but arguably better quality. I say that with a, you know, I, I, I buy stuff at Walmart because it's way cheaper. Um, but Meyer does have some good quality products. If I was looking for like camping gear or, or uh, they have a great garden center too, which I might, I may do some filming of their garden center. Uh, not the best prices, but they get some different things that other stores don't get. Like they get a lot of things I've heard that tractor supply gets in, with their garden center and everything. So let's we'll check that out eventually. I guess I answered that question quickly for you there, JG. I know. We get that all the time. We get that all the time. And Fred Meyer is everywhere. Just remember, Fred Meyer is owned by Kroger. <laughs> JG says, no, we're all coming to crash at your house, Dano. Okay. <laughs> That'll be a tight squeeze. Hello, Steven. Is that, or Stefan? Is it Stefan? I say that right? Stefan Bunn? Uh, Emma says, was in Hawaii in February, outrageous prices. I, I can imagine. I can't imagine. I'm sure it's ridiculous. Uh, Frankie says, yes, I haven't seen, haven't seen the notification in a while. Uh, part of this could be because I do the coffee rain videos and I do the shopping videos uh if you're watching one youtube may wait to push one out to another the only thing i can say about the shopping videos is what i always say they all come out at 8 30 in the morning eastern time it is very rare if ever that i'll miss that so 8 30 a.m eastern time there will always be a video out always and if there's not uh, message me on another video to find out what's wrong because <laughs> I have a video out every day. I am a daily vlogger. Uh, Mary says, we have uh, Meyer in Milwaukee area. Okay, awesome. Uh, Castle says, my girlfriend says, uh, me too, to wanting Meyer here in Minnesota. Meyer is great for so many different reasons. Their, their quality... It, their, their meat quality kind of stands on its own. I mean, it, it's fantastic. You, it, it tastes, it feels like a mom and pop place. They have a, uh, they have a bunch of butchers that'll cut it right up for you. I mean, you know, it, it's nice. It's nice. Kroger don't have that. Kroger used to have butchers. They don't do that anymore. They, they send it away from the factory. You're buying stuff that is packaged unless it's in the case right away. I mean, even that's not fresh. It is, but I, I who knows. Uh, thank you, Janers. Thank you. I I love Meyer. I do. Um, we got some chicken from Meyer there the other day. Best chicken I've had in a long time. And no, Meyer chicken is not Tyson. Uh, it is they they select. Look it up. Look it up. I did some research on that. They have like a lot of private, uh private people that they deal with when it comes to their chicken from Tennessee. Isn't that funny? No Meyer in Tennessee, but that's where they get their chicken from and some other places. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, Lori. Yeah, I'll tell you what. If we didn't live here, I would probably miss it too. Because the, the meat produce has been, uh, you know, it ain't. I don't feel like it's just what it used to be. It's still good. It's still, it's it's still all right. Um, you know, I. I'll tell you what. Now I haven't been to many Publix, but the Publix that I have been to, I don't know where they're getting their produce, but it is just. I mean, that's why it costs more, right? They're they're getting the stuff probably right off the tree. You know, I mean, Publix produce is fantastic. I used to compare Meyer produce to uh, Publix because it used to, at least at ours, at ours, it's kind of. It I don't want to say it's gone completely downhill. Because it hasn't. It's still good. I would pick most produce at Meyer over Kroger, right? But they but they both have their good and bad days around here. Uh, happy to see you. Says I bet adding adding all that other stuff uh, would get more views. You mean like the traveling and entertainment and all that? Yeah, probably. I mean, and it would just be fun to share with everybody. everybody who has been with us here for years. You know, it's like, these are things that, these are entertaining things that I just, I feel like this is where uh, me and Jess shine on these things because we're excited. We're having fun. We like taking you guys to places that are enjoyable. You know, not so, um, and I was, you know, I try to put a good take on things, you know, even though the grocery stores are just terrible and the prices are so much and everything, I always try to put, you know, some light into it, some some happiness. Like, hey, check out this digital coupon. We're off camera. I'm like, sheesh. <laughs> I was really stretching for that one. <laughs> okay. Oh, good night, Sherry. Thanks for joining. Good night, Trash or Treasure. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, yes, Janurse, it is better than Tyson. Way better. Uh, I, I don't get Tyson anymore, but the, the one thing I noticed, even at the end, and what was funny, and where I first noticed that I was like, Sam's Club chicken is Tyson. When I first noticed this, I noticed the texture when you cook it. It's like it's a lot tighter. It's like tight, like like chicken that was cold way too early, or something. I, I I don't know. I don't know. But it just it just doesn't have. It's not that it tastes bad. It's just like you notice like the texture is a lot tighter. It's just it's not like what it used to be. You know, like Sam's Club. You know, I swore there for the longest time that that wasn't Tyson. A lot of you guys were telling me that no members mark is Tyson. And, uh, I'll tell you what, I was, I was, uh, in denial there until I saw them bring out their boxes of members mark chicken in Tyson boxes. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe they're not adding as much water to it <laughs> or syllable solution or whatever they call it. Uh, Jason says, how many squishmallows does Jess have? A lot, a lot. Some of these ones down here we got from Kings Island. This one right here, that is a character from the Beast, which is still the longest wooden roller coaster in the world. Uh, this one right here, that is for that's one of the little aliens from Orion, which is the Giga Coaster at Kings Island. Uh, let's see, we got Nemo right here, and a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and you know it's I, i'll tell you uh something today i was even looking at some of the tyson chicken that was on sale and i i couldn't even find myself to talk about it i was like you know and, and i didn't really like the segment because i was showing off another chicken brand and i was like then i showed like the tyson and i talked about how like, well, I'm not buying this now, but if you do, it's on sale. And I, I completely edited that out of the video because one, there's going to be people that still buy the chicken nuggets and all that stuff. You're still going to have all the kids that want the little dino nuggets that had, you know, foreign material in them a few months ago. If you've forgotten about that, the plastic pieces, everybody keeps saying these are accidents. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of accidents that have been happening lately. Um, and, uh, you know. I don't know. It is it is what it is, I guess. Just got to be careful. Chew your food good. 
What's up with the? Has anybody heard about this this glass in in this jasmine rice? But uh, emerald. I saw that today. Like, where did that not? How come that did not compute? How come I wasn't able to find that until today? Apparently, this happened a few days ago. Literally, glass pieces in this rice. It was like 50 pound bags of emerald rice. <laughs> that was actually something I was going to talk about here tonight because I, I, I originally was going to put a video out on the chocolate candies and I didn't like the way the video went. I was very negative in it. And at that moment, I, I literally told Jess, I said, I'm, I'm just going to do a live show. We'll have fun tonight. We'll throw these things in there so that you're aware of some of these things, and, and I was having too much fun chatting with you guys. I completely forgot to mention the whole glass thing in the rice. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just says, Hey, Barry. Thank you for the super chat, Annie. Thank you. Sorry, I was, I was scrolling down here. I thought I saw it pop up. Uh, my husband was a butcher for 25 years and was very fussy. Love you guys. <laughs> oh, I bet. Uh, cutting cutting up meat for 25 years. Yeah, that, that was, uh, I don't know. I'd probably be a little fussy too. Thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. I know a couple of the butchers at Meyer. And they are awesome. They are great guys. They're, they're, they go to the extreme. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it feels, at least at Armeyer, it feels like a mom and pop place. That's what I love about it. Now, um, and, and all the employees are really nice. And, and to be fair, a lot of the employees at the Kroger's that I go to are really awesome too. Okay. Uh, and, and a lot of stores. Even our Walmart. The other day when I went to Walmart... And, you know, I was, I was, I, I was literally having a, a crazy time because it was like everything I looked at, prices went up. Every, and the thing is, and I, I figured it out somewhat, I, I had accumulated a lot of requests to check out different items at Walmart over the last couple of weeks since the last time we went there. So everything that I was checking out were things from viewers, you guys, that, that I was finding and I think the reason why a lot of people wanted to talk about it was the prices. So I was like, I'm checking all these different things where all the prices have gone up. And it's like 30 minutes of just seeing higher prices just kind of drove me nuts. Um, but then I started to realize like, oh, well, this is why we're talking about it here. Uh, but a lot of it, too, was not finding the products. Walmart has had issues with getting some things in lately. Spices. Oils, cooking oils, uh, sugar, not in ours, but apparently it's a big problem around the country still. Uh, and just some other things, frozen vegetables. Ours was packed, but I mean, I know there's been issues with frozen vegetables at Walmart lately. And then I go up to the register and then they have the spark driver thing. And the, the uh, they didn't even say Walmart plus, but the ladies asked if I was doing the scan and go. And I said, no, um, and she said, you know, sorry and everything. She was really nice. I, I waited in line for uh, the register. And man, this lady at the cashier, the cashier, she was very helpful, very nice, uh, just really nice lady. And I felt good. You know, it's what's, it's nice when you, you come up on somebody and then they, they just love their job. This girl loved her job. And it was like, you know, it really, it really puts off. It really puts off on people. You know, it's like I, I left there like, hey, I feel pretty good now. <clears throat> I don't either, Crystal. I don't either. I've made that mistake. Me and Jessica bought a 10-pound, uh, no, it was a 5-pound bag of potatoes because I couldn't find a good 10-pound bag of potatoes. And then there was still like three, two or three potatoes in the 5-pound bag that we got that were rotten. Nasty. And it, it put off on a bunch of other ones too, so they were gone. Big waste of money. So I think that was the last time I bought any produce from Walmart. I think I think so. M minus maybe a, a lemon or an orange or you know something encased in something. 
Uh, yeah, Jason, I hear you. I, I, or Walmart, anyway. I just, I don't know what's worse. Like, the meat quality isn't great, right? If you Now, if you get the premium cuts, it'll be fine, but you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay more than Kroger, which is crazy. Uh, but some of the other things, like, uh, I couldn't believe, like, the thin-cut ribeyes, $19 a pound at Walmart. And then you look at some of the hamburger, and it's like, this don't look that great. Now, I know all Walmarts ain't like that, though, because we get a lot of good comments from meat products from some people on the channel at Walmart. Now, I will say, their 10-pound, uh, which most of you probably know this already, their 10-pound tubes of hamburger, uh, the 80-20, went up like $3 again. It's like almost $37 for, for a 10-pound tube of hamburger. It was thirty-four seventy-two a couple weeks ago. Now it's 36 something Uh, yeah, Barry, <laughs> it's true. Uh, it definitely has a dirty diaper smell, maybe worse. Well, I don't know. Pretty close. Uh, Joel says everybody should have a guy local, even if you donate, uh, your time to belong. Absolutely. And always get in touch with a lot of the different local people. Uh, some of the issues with a couple of the ones around here, I like them. I do, and I, I I go there, I do, not all the time anymore, because it's getting crazy expensive. Now, I'll go and, and spend some money sometimes at some of our local mom-and-pop places, but they're struggling to stay in business, and, and that is why I do. That's the only reason why I do, because they are, it's outrageously expensive. Good quality, uh, so most of the time, um, but uh, Bob says buy half a cow. Really, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. And and some people don't really want to do like the half cow thing. Go in on a whole cow with uh, with somebody. What's that about five hundred bucks, six hundred bucks? Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Janar says, I hardly ever grocery shop at Walmart unless I am there, uh, to buy a non-grocery item. Uh, yeah, I love shopping at Walmart for that reason. I usually stay away. There's a couple things that we'll get at Walmart, canned goods and stuff, different things that I know are already cheaper than anywhere else. But usually it's to buy some electronic I need for cameras or something, uh, clothes, Clothes is still the cheapest place <laughs> probably on earth to buy new clothes. Uh, good clothes. Good clothes. I mean, good quality. You know, you can get like band t-shirts and uh, nice collared shirts. Most of the collared shirts I've bought have been from Walmart. I spend less than $20 and they've lasted me for years. Oh my goodness. $2,000 there for one, for a cow? Or did I read that, or is that from something else? Uh, let's see. Gary with two R's says, Dana, what's the average time you put into recording, editing, and uploading your store videos? All day. It is. I've gotten better, but a lot of it's the upload time. It, it's, you know, a lot. A lot. I... Sometimes, and, and it varies, it varies. It could be seven to eight hours. It could be 12 hours. Uh, if I do a coffee rant video, it's every bit of 12 hours. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm literally uh, doing pre-work before I go. It's, it's all day. It's all day. I, I hate to admit that, but <laughs> it really is. Uh, some days are better than others. Like, you know, I try to get as much information as possible because what you guys don't see is I literally, I'll have about an hour and a half to two hours worth of footage that I literally cake down into a half hour, sometimes less. I don't like to have videos more than a half hour long uh, unless I feel like it's crucial to have that much in there. Hello, Carolina. Uh, I am drinking Duncan Crystal. Uh, 
Uh, Bob says about 225 pounds vacuum sealed and need about eight cubic eight cubic feet of freezer space. Uh, Shadow says I get my sausage patties at Walmart because it's the only place around me that sells the sandwich size sandwich size ones. That's interesting. I, I speaking of that, I saw they have at Kroger they got the sandwich uh, patties of Geta back. I haven't seen those in a while. Uh, somebody was asking about them a while. I did try them. I'm not really a fan. I'm not really a fan of them. They add like some weird spice to it. I don't know. I love Geta, but let me add my own spices. I wish they would have just made the patties like that. And, you know, because it's easier to cook like that. Because if you've ever made Geta before, it all breaks apart. You got to, it's, it's hard to overcook Geta. Like, you really got to cook it for a while to really get it to solidify and not break into little tiny pieces. Like, I, I know somebody, somebody actually left a comment on that a while back. Uh, I responded to it. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Barry says, play us a song, Dano. Play a song. Oh, okay. Sherry's got a little guitar symbol there. We get ours from uh, Tex Texja Texca Texas Georgia Texas or Georgia. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. Happy Metal Vegan says, what do you think about AI for videos and all official uh, intelligent for everything else? I don't know. I, I don't get in all that. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, you definitely want to split it if, if we're still talking about the cows. Uh, Beth says, who do I hear in the background? I don't know. It might have been just doing something in there. I got a high-powered microphone on here, so yeah, if she if she sneezes in the other room, you're probably gonna hear it. <laughs> uh, Shadow says the ones from Walmart kind of taste like the ones from Duncan. I might have missed something there. Oh, okay. Shadow says, "How is Jess feeling? She's feeling much better. Still has a little bit of a cough, and." Uh, but yeah, we've been like really tired the last couple days. I have, I have slept more in the last week and a half than I think I have in the last three years. All right. What do you guys want to hear? I can't play any copyright music, so I can play the intro. this guitar. It's got little noise effects. Jimmy Page. Sure. Is he in Cincinnati? Or are you just saying, oh, okay. <laughs> Believe me, I wish I could play some Jimmy Page on here. I can I can play any of the Led Zeppelin, but no, can't do it on the live show. Apparently, YouTube doesn't like that stuff. I mean, they like it. They'll send the paycheck right to uh, Jimmy Page. <laughs> I thought about like when I have like like when I was doing one of those videos last week where I was sitting around. Uh, kind of like all sick and everything. 
I was talking to Jess and I was like, maybe I should like do some like days of our lives music while I'm talking about this stuff because it kind of felt pretty depressing. So I was sitting around, I was just playing this. Jimmy Hendrix, the other Jimmy. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Lori plays piano. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I started playing. That was a cat, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Stefan. Steven. Happy plays the radio. <laughs> Joel says, back to the reporter. I'll listen to music on my own time. Bob says, I will write it down. to play the trumpet <laughs> let's see have have how many of you guys have been on the channel since we started like years ago like how many remember the original music that we wrote <laughs> Barry you do don't you you still on here? So that was our original music. And then I had... I had a buddy who was playing that in the background. Uh, I've been in and out of bands over the years. And um, I was like, I, I felt that like for the videos, I felt it needed a little more punch. So it was like this. If you want to hear that music incorporated into the videos, if you go to our channel and you go to videos and you go to oldest, you can watch some of our older videos. And then at the end, while that... Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. when I was playing before. And while that's going on, it's basically just like a repeat of, of some of the stuff that I do throughout the videos. But the funny thing is, is that most of it is bloopers that I didn't like the way the bloopers looked in the video. So I literally cut out the voice and just added the music into it. And it actually goes really well. Thank you. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I brought this in here tonight because I figured some people somebody would want to hear something, so. Some of my own stuff there. Unfortunately, I can't really take requests because all requests will be subject to the copyright tool on YouTube. Unfortunately. Now, you know, I'd actually thought about doing another channel maybe later in life uh, where I do nothing but play guitar and then just not worry about the copyright music. Because there is there are ways, and I, I wouldn't even care about making money on it, uh, but it's because the videos wouldn't be monetized, right? Because if, if I was going to do that, I'm not going to do something that I've taken my take on and then have the money go to someone possibly that it sounds like there isn't one song that you can play on any instrument that doesn't have sounds or clicks into the algorithm of what a, a uh, copyright music could be. I was literally playing a song one time and somehow a Madonna song came up in the copyright claim. So I literally went and I, I listen. I forget what Madonna song it was, but I'm listening to this Madonna song and I'm like, how does this pick this up from a song that I'm playing on guitar? That sounds absolutely nothing like that. Now, if I would have had that video monetized, Madonna would be getting a cut of something that I literally played that was my own stuff. Now, I own rights to the music that I play on the channel here. So if there was ever a dispute, well, then I, I have proof. So that's good. But that is really the reason why I, I, the short videos are different. You can do the YouTube short. I've had questions on this before. You can do the YouTube short videos and, and now they have it to where if there's a uh, copyright claim on something, you still get some of the money, which I don't care about the money on these, okay? I don't care about the money on the on the music and stuff like that. Really, I just wanted a platform that I can play and, and just put it out there for people. But there's so many different issues with music and everything, and you gotta you gotta get all these different rights and all this other stuff, and it's just, eh, I'm not gonna pay for all that because that's basically what it is. They want your money. Alrighty, thank you, Barry. Thank you. <laughs> ah, that's funny you caught on to that, Bob. That's not it, though. <laughs> it does sound very similar, but it's not. There is one chord on guitar that I know you have to watch out for. It is a D minor 7. A D minor 7 note, which looks sort of like this. A D minor 7, uh, if you're familiar with Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd, that is a dun 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 That's a D minor 7 chord. Okay, and that chord rings up a lot of things on YouTube. Rings up a lot of different no-nos on YouTube. Okay, so if ever you are playing music and you want to try and get past it all, stay away from the D minor 7. And I've done it, and it's, yes, it'll come up something weird, kind of like that Madonna thing. It wasn't like Pink Floyd, and I don't even know who it was. It was some weird band. Oh, let's see. Uh, Sherry at the Lake, hello, says, I've been watching your channel since summer of 2021, if I remember correctly. Oh, you've been here a while. All right. 
That would have been uh, the first year and at the end of, well, the second year. Uh, let's see. Free bird. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is or if I'm just missing something there, Chobi. Chobbly. Uh, Odessa says, you could teach, maybe. I used to. I used to teach. Well, not online. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I, the issue that I had is you'd always have, somebody would show up for lessons, and you give a lesson, and then they never come back. So, thanks for the 20 bucks, and then that was all I ever got. <laughs> and nobody ever wants to learn. They just want to learn a song. That's it. Which is cool. I mean, that's cool. You know, anything, when you can figure out a song that you really like on any instrument, it's, you're going to want to play it more and perfect it. And as you perfect it, you learn all the other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Ripping off Madonna. I don't know. That was really weird. Thank you, Annie. Uh, Lori says there are only so many different chords. All the songs out there use the same chords, so copyright stuff is really hard. Uh, and and uh, do, there are thousands and thousands of guitar chords. I mean, there are a lot. There are a lot. And there are things you can do. Like, one thing, for most guitar chords, only involves three fingers. But if you had that sustained or diminished note on guitar or piano then you're adding a note that a lot of people don't add because it doesn't necessarily fit, right? So whatever, like if ever I'm playing like an A minor or something, I'll end on like that high note, which is like an octave above what an A is. Like if you're starting off on A and then you have your finger way up here, you're adding that, that basically harmonizes the note, but it's very rare in most music because it you usually have another instrument that fits that part or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, you ain't got to worry about that, uh, repetitious. <laughs> Adventure concert with Dano. Oh, that would be fun. Well, and, you know, it's not one to... Like, if I... If I did a live show and just... Yeah, I mean, I don't have to monetize it. Right, I don't have to monetize it, and I can play whatever I want, and and probably do that here in the future. That that would be cool. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's right, Joel. Uh, B Joy, yes, yes, I am. I took one guitar lesson after I'd already played for like three years, and I knew more than the the guy who I went. He literally told me that he's like, you know more than I do. And I was like, because that's kind of where I was. I was just kind of wanting to kind of like gauge where my level of like where I was, you know. And uh, I've I've read a lot of books. I have a lot of books. All right, Annie. Yeah, I'm going to have to start heading out here, too. Actually, I was only going to be on for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why the whole Madonna thing came up. It was really weird. Uh, Barry says, is Ella de la Cruz going to have a good season prediction? Uh, the guy is fun to watch. Either way, that guy, he is unpredictable. I mean, he, he really is fun to watch. I am really excited for the Reds this year, though. All right, Lori, have a good night. Hello, Kimmy. Uh, I, th I think self-teaching yourself, one, it shows you that you really do, you, you're passionate about it, and two, it's you're always going to have originality, right, because you're not learning 
how to play like someone. You're learning how to play music the way that you want to play it. All right. All right, Lori. Oh, I hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. Uh, I know. It's it's going around everywhere. It seems like a lot of people have got it right now. I hope that... Um... <laughs> Captain Joe, I'm always ready to go back to Florida. Always. Hello, Messias. I'm, I'm excited for the things that we have going on that are coming up here soon. I'm excited for the opening of King's Island, trying some of the new stuff going on at King's Island. I'm excited. Uh, the zoo has some new things going on too. Definitely excited to take you guys along with me to the 25th anniversary of Newport on the Aqua Newport at the aquarium, uh, which if you've never been to Newport on the levee, uh, my first video that I ever did was at Newport on the levee. My very first video. If you go on the channel, go to videos, go to oldest. That is the first video on there. Uh, and it was an experience. Let me tell you, I didn't go to the levee or I didn't go to the aquarium. Uh, but I try like some different foods and stuff like that. It was a fun time. Um, but excited to, to check out some more of the things going on at Newport. Uh, if, if you live around here, you know where I'm talking about. There have been, they, they keep growing stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if they got the, uh, the arcade back up and running. Um, uh, there was an arcade there for a while. But they got a lot of little new stores coming in with different foods and different snacks and stuff like that. They got, I think they still got a Five Guys there. Five Guys with fries. Haven't had that in a while. That sounds pretty good. I don't know, but I want to go check that out. Also, check out a lot of different things around here in Cincinnati because uh, I love this town. And it's fun to uh, fun to go around. You know, somebody actually called, uh, some uh, somebody who knew me from the channel a couple days ago. Uh, she was saying that they call me Mr. Cincinnati in the, in their, I guess their, their family watching. You might be watching right now. Don't know. But, um, uh, she called me Mr. Cincinnati and I was like, boy, that would have been a great YouTube name. I don't want to change it, but boy, that would have been a great YouTube name back in, back years ago. Uh, yes, Captain Joe, that would be fun. <laughs> Take a fishing charter. Yeah. You know me, I love fishing. Uh, you too, Barry. You too. Odessa, that is definitely happening. Yes, yes. Got the got the orange juice packed, all different things, restocked on medicines just in case. Uh yes, I have, Edward. Yeah. River Downs. Yep. I've been there. Well, now it's owned by uh I don't think it's called River Downs anymore. It might be, but it's owned by the, the guys in, uh, what's that casino in Rising Sun, Indiana? It's owned by that Belterra, Belterra Racetrack. I think it is now. All right, Sharon, have a good night. Sherry, have a great night. Oh, man, I hope you get better, Violet. I know, it's, it's just running through, running through. Yeah, Mr. Cincinnati, I thought that was funny. Uh... Maybe that's maybe that'll be a side name. Side name. When we do the the adventures out of the stores, we'll we'll call it Mister Cincinnati. Uh, Margaret Walter. I remember when they had. Okay. <laughs> Fish pedicures. Hmm. Let's see. Angela says I went to Five Guys here in Tupelo, Missouri, and or. Uh, Mississippi and spent $33. So if, if you go, be careful about what you buy. $33? Dang. Yeah, that seems pretty expensive for five guys. All right, David, have a good night. I, I do know when you go to five guys, which I don't usually, I don't eat fries much, but if you go to five guys, get a small fry because they put a small fry in and then they give you the boatload in the bag. I don't, do they still do that? I, don't, I know you get a small fry and then they would just dump like a truckload of fries in your bag. <coughs> Mr. Adventure? Yes. Uh, Margaret says gaming. Gaming. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, thank you, Joel. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Angela says, yes, they do. LOL. All right, guys. I have got to get off here. Got to get, get ready for tomorrow's adventure. Uh, make sure you guys tune in tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. We got some interesting things going on. Uh, but all right, Eileen. Have a good night. Oh, okay, Margaret. Oh, one of those. I see. Like with the little, uh, oh, what are they? The little minnows. Hey, Jess woke up. <laughs> All right, guys. Time to fly. Y'all have a great day. Who knows? I may go live again here at some point this weekend. I don't really know. I'm not sure if I will tomorrow night, but hey, it's been fun. Loving doing these live shows. It's fun sitting, chatting with everybody, catching up with uh, everything going on. But guys, thank you so much uh, for joining me tonight, and I will see you guys in the morning. Have a good night. <laughs>